can load gradient files, GRD files in Photoshop. Same basic approach can be used in CC, CS6, etc., as well as PC and Mac. Now, just going to go over to the Finder and I've got a selection of gradient files here, the GRD files. Uh, these are part of the Photoshop well, gradient set from Graphic Extras. Find them on their website. Also, of course, you can use any other gradient file as well. So just click on that gradient file and you'll notice an open with and there's an option here and this is on the Mac to open with Photoshop CC 2014 15.2 of course they've got earlier versions as well as well CS6 as well as Photoshop Elements 13 you can do exactly the same with those so just basically select that and once you've done that you'll see that the actual gradients have been added in the gradient palette Obviously, once you've selected the gradient tool over here. Now, another way of doing that, I'm just going to select another one. Just go on there, is double click. So as soon as you double click that, you'll notice there's actually just done a little sort of done some action there, and there's the actual gradients have been added that way. And that's certainly probably the quickest way of adding gradients. Now, also you can do it via the gradient palette itself. So just going to go over there and you can then just go there, reset gradients, load gradients. Now, fortunately, replace gradients, the only way you can actually access it is via this bit here, replace gradients, and that just removes all those and adds in a certain file. So if you select that. Now, if you've got these ones here, you can actually add those to the presets folder of Photoshop uh, into the gradient section, and then you will see those appear there. So you can add them all, all those files there. Personally, I just prefer just to go to the a folder and just say double click a file and it's added very quick and easy and that means you can have a central location which is the key thing so if you've got multiple different versions of Photoshop and under the Creative Cloud you can have CS6 as well as other other versions as well so it's just quick and easy just to load one. and then once you've got that you can just quickly apply the gradient and create all kinds of super colorful effects in Photoshop and obviously once you've got that you can actually use those as backgrounds maybe even as a, a brush stroke or, or much more hope you found this of interest